Hey guys, it's me, Sam Serious again. I just uh, wanted to give you guys a uh, update to uh, what uh, I've decided to do in regards to uh, what the farms are going to be like based on the name tags that you've all uh, seen me acquire from the last episode. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely uh, going to be shifting some priorities from uh, what I originally planned because this one looks a lot more uh, promising, more suitable for uh, what I'm actually going to be needing more of in the future. You know, I know earlier I mentioned about a uh, XP farm at the top of the world here. But I got two name tags. All I gotta do is find a zombie, name it, put it at some distant place around here, away from the village here, like at least 40 blocks away. And uh, set up like an area where there's like three villagers involved. Have them always be in uh, sight of a zombie, have them be in sight seeing a zombie always, and uh, that should be enough to get the iron golem to be spawning on the water platform above into, uh, into a lava pit. Yeah, I'm actually glad I found that dungeon, so I think I will shift priority to the Iron Golem farm instead of the uh, XP farm that I was talking about. And besides, I might actually jetson the idea about uh, making a skeleton farm, because if I'm talking about making like an XP farm for all the overall, overall mobs at, these, at the top of the sky, I'm going to be getting bones and arrows and bows anyway, so I'm going to be getting around robin things, so I don't think it's really worth my attention to be focused on that skeleton spawner in the first place. So I got a little confession to make to y'all. I got a little sidetracked on the idea of starting an iron golem farm. Instead, <laughs> I had to revert to old habits when it comes to the sides of mountains. Oh yeah. My opinion's probably a little bleached white here, but yeah, it feels a little cozy in here. Heck. Moss blocks. It makes it look like uh, life, a little bit of life has taken its place over, so cozy and a little lively. With a nice little campfire in the middle. Yep, I got plenty of coal and I felt the need to smoke up charcoal. First, for the sake of laziness, since I didn't feel like going back up for the coals that's in the chest. But yeah, nothing like a little small room. My personal little home until the tree house, tree house can set up. You know, I've been going all over the place just thinking, where should I put this iron golem farm? I'm thinking of the old style tower design I was originally going for, but I don't want to set up like a massive tower, square tower out of nowhere. So I was looking around elsewhere and help but to look at that perhaps this lake here is a good spot for me to put a uh, iron golem farm rather low down to the ground or to low with the water I should say just a matter of figuring out how to relocate three villagers in there and a zombie so I'm going to see uh, if uh, that's really a good call to do by uh, giving it a little bit further more of a surveying. So, uh, Geronimo! Now look what I jumped to. Killed one. Three more to go. But, out of the shell. Don't mind getting my hands on a conduit. 
So where can I find a prismarine shard though? You know, conduits do need prismarine. Oh wow, look at that guy, he just dropped copper. Yeah, took down another drown. Another copper ingot. So that's uh, interesting to have happen, eh? I don't think uh, copper comes from these guys very often. E okay, so that's uh, that part built. So it won't be amongst the drowns anymore. Or should I say, amongst drowning with them. <laughs> Alright, so I raise this plenty of blocks off the ground. Golem Death Chamber. The rules for the villagers to be residing in. And all for the name tag zombie. So here's the platform. Oh, gotta be able to uh, get all four guys across somehow. Nothing like a old fashioned cobblestone bridge. A little bit of heavy metal. Yeah, it'd be totally a friendly villager. Yoo hoo! Come on, buddy. There you are. Yeah, you're totally a friendly villager. Oh, that moon is running low, though. Hope he doesn't burn up on me. Yeah, he's totally a friendly villager. Punched me a few times. Ain't that a love tap, eh? It's alright. Give him a love tap back. See? I'm a loving little spirited person. He gave me some love, I give some love back. By the way, just just because I'm saying that, violence is not love. Just make sure y'all don't confuse that, I'm joking. Oh, I just realized they ain't got any wool on me. Where are them sheep? Sheep, sheep, sheep. Come on now, don't be so sheepish. Oh, oh there is one sheep. Only one piece of wool. Alright, eight more to go. One more. More sheep. More sheep. Hey, fox. Hey look, another totally friendly villager. He couldn't take the heat. More sheep. Mm hmm. Alright, I'm satisfied. Oh, well, that's one extra bet. No oh, shoot, I'm seeing tridents. Where is it drowned? Oh. Yeah, I'm not playing with that. Hey, I don't need your affection right now. Hey, well, I'm gonna want to smack you, buddy.
Oh, okay. I was about to say, how the heck did I do that? <laughs> These signs. <laughs> Tricked my vision a bit. Okay. Well, no stone for me for a while then. Alright, so that's a temporary way of setting up the storage system. Later on, I'll be wanting to include an item sorter to that. Just a quick test to make sure I haven't put myself short. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I have to make the platform slightly bigger. Definitely noise. So we'll make sure not fall into that. <laughs> Hehe. 
Yeah, it's a good idea to put these fence posts on the edges here. Just make sure that uh, no golem spawns on top of these. I uh, want the platform to be uh, a big uh, water channel. Iron golems can spawn in water. I uh, just want to make sure that uh, there's no iron golems spawning up here. Uh, last time I recall reading about them, if um, if they sense water around them, they will not want to walk on water. So this is to safeguard that they don't uh, spawn on here. Ensures they spawn on the water immediately being shoved into the lava. So this farm here is uh, coming along together so far very well. It needs to be put in the villagers and water channels and that it that's it oh and of course i want to make a platform and spawn proof that platform for the uh, storage system there i think i can make use of uh, lower slabs for that that should uh, be able to provide steady ground without having to worry about any uh, golem spawning in the uh, storage room now i can probably go ahead, go ahead and grab three villagers and put them in there right now but here's the thing i only have very few of them I don't have a full count of villagers yet, so I want to make sure that I set up a villager breeder first before I uh, proceed on sending any villagers down there. Just have uh, villagers big new villagers and uh, yeah, eh, I'll sleep on that. I'm rather tickled to death to have finally got the uh, iron farm here started. Now I haven't uh, got it fully functioning yet because, well, I don't have the water channels in. I still need the villagers. So uh, I'll definitely will be wanting to uh, get that going in the, next, in the next episode. Probably the next few episodes I'll uh, be able to finish up the iron golem farm. I just need the villagers, so I just need to build the breeder. So, uh, what led me to uh, shift priorities for the Iron Golem farm here? Well, it's mostly connected to the uh, ore distribution in the mining le in the mining levels of the uh, overall due to the uh, update from due to the 1.18 update. So, as I mentioned before in the uh, previous episode, the ores. I'm going to have to be thinking of a different way of mining because if I start going for the layer where diamonds most plentiful then I would have to deal with the trade-off at not getting iron because iron is like a little bit above the deep slate layer at least part at least a sweet spot where I can get the most iron at a time from a good branch mining session so uh, the opportunity cost for diamonds is too great because I don't have a, a good amount of iron ingots in supply for me to be comfortable with uh, mining excessively a lot for diamonds and diamonds with me having a, a pickaxe that uh, doesn't have much durability in them all diamonds are uh, can be a little bit iffy to find depending on what you're doing not to mention that how diamonds can be uh, distributed from from a wider range of height. Like it used to be with old Minecraft, if you're at the bottom of the world, when like the first 16 layers of the chunk that you're mining diamonds in, for diamonds you can actually find diamonds within those 16 block height within a chunk. No, we can find diamonds within the whole deep slate layer. And I don't know uh, how many veins of diamonds are generated per uh, per uh, chunk now for uh, for the chunks in Minecraft 1.18. So I'll have to do some research about that to see what's best to uh, do in terms of um, mining diamonds. At least for me, that is. So, this farm will basically allow me to have a passive generation of iron everywhere that I go regardless of what I do as long as the iron farm is loaded and I'm close enough to it for it to operate so uh, I'll definitely will be uh, 
going on to the next necessary step for uh, for the next episode to uh, get this uh, farm going. Now, this farm might uh, take a few episodes to get going, depending on what goes on with my workload here. But uh, yeah, I will definitely be uh, planning things out to uh, get this farm going. Once I get it going, then I should be able to get more more, more rolling into uh, into what I'm wanting to do with the long-term goals I'm thinking of for this world. Anyways, y'all, I just want to say thank you for sticking around to see this episode here. Number two, I hope you guys uh, were able to uh, enjoy the content. Hope you guys enjoyed mild comedy. So, uh, anyways, I, I wish you all uh, good uh, well-being, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.